Hi Capricorn, welcome. My name is Trina and this is TNT. Thank you for joining me today. My All my readings are timeless, so I, whenever you come across this video, there should be something in here for you. I am doing a shadow reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising today. Please remember that it is, is it is a collective reading for Capricorn, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get into it here. We have shame. We have the Grim Reaper. Betrayal, hopeless, worry, endings, self-criticism, waiting, death, chosen, and fear. And we have rejection. Shame, the Grim Reaper, and rejection. Interesting. Okay. Why is shame here today for the sign of Capricorn? The Page of Swords. The Tower. The Ten of Wands. Interesting. Okay. So you've been thinking about something that you've were that you've done. You've been thinking about something that you've done that caused this tower moment here and created a shit ton of burdens for you. That's really all there is to this energy, is that it's created a lot of hardships for you, a lot of burdens, some baggage, maybe. Um I'm not sure the particulars of this tower event and why the shame yet, but that is what I feel off of this row here. Um, why is the Grim Reaper card here for Capricorn today? Why is the Grim Reaper card here for Capricorn? King of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Okay, interesting. To find counterparts back to back there. And the King of Swords, really? Wow. That's a heavy energy. Okay, um, this is definitely betrayal. Um, I feel like there this is this is an energy of someone cheating this is someone cheating or wanting to cheat so here we have divine counterpart and the king of swords i feel like this would be a divine feminine that wants to cheat or has cheated so i'm inclined to think that With these cards here as well that this is um definitely you were thinking about cheating for a long time before you did and then you did and it has caused a breakup and baggage and it's made you feel shame and you didn't want to feel that so you pushed it down into your shadow Okay, um, why is the rejection card here for Capricorn? Why is the rejection card here for Capricorn? Why is the rejection card here for Capricorn? <clears throat> the Knight of Swords. The World. And the Lovers. Yeah, this happened really quickly. Um, you maybe, when it did happen, you were planning it for a long time, but it did happen quickly when it happened. You didn't really, it was pretty impulsive. Um, you weren't going to, and then you did. Yeah. When that happened, quickly like that, you, they were done with you, weren't they? It's like you did it and then they were just done with you. Like they fucking put a notch on their bedpost or something. And then you pretended like it didn't happen and you pushed the rejection down into your shadow. Pretended like nothing was wrong. But they knew it was the whole time. That's why it resulted in the tower and the baggage here. Okay, what is the advice for Capricorn? What, what kind of advice do we have for Capricorn here? The Five of Swords. The Ace of Swords, yeah. So with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords for some advice here, I'm going to just clarify these and see what's going on before I... Go ahead and talk about them. Why is the Five of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is the Five of Swords here for Capricorn? Chariot, Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords, right. So basically there needed to be some, there needed to be some conflict and a winner and a loser situation um, to move forward and, and do some healing here for some reason. 
I'm not sure why. Um, Ace of Swords. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here for Capricorn? Why do we have the Ace of Swords here for Capricorn? The Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Yeah. And the High Priestess. Okay, so with this here, <laughs> there is a fourth person involved here. I feel it really strongly from this row. There's a fourth person involved here. Um... It could be because of this Queen of Swords here. It could be the, the counterpart to this individual. I feel that they're connected for sure. Um, I feel just, I just feel the energy is connected there. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is like, and the Ace of Swords, it's like somebody went out of their way to deliver some information to, to this, this Queen of Swords out of their way to an extreme extent to give this queen of swords some information okay i feel like we're missing something let's just get one more row here for capricorn let's get one more row for capricorn so that we are not missing anything let's get one more row for more advice for capricorn because this is complicated okay ten of pentacles the death card the six of cups and the eight of wands yeah, so this is definitely the ending of something. Like I said in the beginning here, the first row. This is definitely an, the ending of something because of this action. Um, regardless of whether you suppressed it or not, it still happened and it caused the ending of something and you didn't want to take responsibility for that. So you push the shame and the rejection down deep down into your shadow and we need to pull it out because it's 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 eating you up inside even though you don't know it yeah okay well i really hope this reading reached whichever capricorn it needed to reach today if you like this video please feel free to like share subscribe comment all of that those things help my channel grow i appreciate all of your support and i hope you do have a wonderful day